Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another Morales video. Today, we are going to learn how to use Morales API endpoints to create our own price feed oracle, on which we are going to have access to the top tokens on the market based on its market cap and a way to access the token explorer for each one of them. And of course, a search bar on which we are going to be able to input any address here. Let's, for example, put this one, click on submit, and we are going to have direct access to the token name, its price, and the token address. And of course, which is the exchange we are getting the information from. And of course, again, the link to look that token in the token explorer. So if you want to learn how to accomplish this, keep watching because we are just getting started. What's up, YouTube? My name is Vasily, your Web3 instructor from Latin America, Ecuador. I've been building on the space since 2020 with cool crypto projects. In my free time, I really enjoy singing and playing the guitar. And if the time is good, I like to go out and take some meditations. But enough about me. Let's go back to the video and start building. Well, at first I have this empty template, which doesn't do anything. Remember, you're going to have the code both for this template and the final project on the link on the description. So for this, we are going to use two Morales endpoints. Let's get started with the get ERC20 token price. This is one of our endpoints on the token API, and we can get the price of any ERC20 token based on its address and the chain. For this example, we are going to use just Ethereum. We can just take all of these and follow the instructions. We even have a specialized video for this specific topic. But what is important for us is the get token price endpoint on which we can have the reference of which are the parameters we are going to use. In this case, I'm going to use a Python server built on Flask. So if I go back to my code, I have here this simple Flask server, which is going to have two endpoints. And here we are going to use the Morales access to get information of any ERC20 token. So the easiest way to do this is just to copy all of these we have here on the API reference for the language we want to use, in this case Python, and use it on our server. So let's do that. I'm going to copy all of these, go back to the code, and paste it over here. And of course, we have to change some parameters over here. First of all, we don't want this address to be burned on the code, but instead the address should come from the request. So let's set up the address equals request.ars.get address so I can replace this address and now instead of printing the result let's just return and as this as that we have a way to get that from Morales. Just remember that in order to use Morales APIs into your Python code you have to go to your terminal and install it with pip install Morales. I already have it of course. You need the access to the API key I set up the API key. I set up the API key inside this environment variable because API keys are sensitive information. And if you don't have a Morales account yet, this is the part of the video for you to hit pause. Go to Morales.io, create your free account, and here on your admin panel, you are going to get access to your free API keys. These API keys are good for small projects or testing purposes, but if you really want to push your application to production, we highly recommend upgrading to one of the pro plans. And also in this tutorial, the second endpoint we're going to use is only available for the pro users. So please consider upgrading to Morales Pro if you really want to put your application into production. With that said, don't forget to copy your API key and set it up on a .m file into your project and do not share it with anyone because remember this is sensitive information. We can test this out. So I can just save this, go to my terminal and run this server. So python server.py. This is going to run our server in this endpoint. So I can copy this. This is going to run our server in this IP address. So I can copy this, use a client such as Postman, paste that over here, set up the endpoint in this case get token price and now I must set up the address because it's an input parameter. So the address is going to be, let's say, this one over here. If I click on send, this is going to send a request to the Morales API. And as you can see over here, we have this response, which is going to have all the information we need, including the name, the symbol, the value, 
and also its value on USD. Now we can take this endpoint and use it into the front end to have the price of any token at any time. So I can just go to my front end project and here I have a function called get price, which is going to use Axios to connect to the backend. So I can just put over here the exact same endpoint. So let's go back to Postman, copy all of this, but let's not include the actual address. So let's copy this, go back to the code, paste it over here. And I'm going to set up the address as a state variable I have over here called address. This state variable address is related to the input field I have down here. So each time I update that input field, this is going to trigger this. Just to test if this is working properly, let's have a console.log of that response.data. Let's save this and test this out. Here I am on the web page. Let me open the terminal over here. Let's paste this in over here. Don't worry about this warning. This is just because we don't have the complete functionality yet. But if I click on submit, this is going to call that endpoint and we can see that we get the same response as Postman. So now we can just take all of this information and render a card the same as we did at the beginning of the video. So I can go back over here and instead of just console.log, I can set set search going to be equal to the response data. And over here, I already have a component called rendered search, which is going to take all that information from the response as you can see here, the exchange name, the token logo, the USD price, and render a card out of this. And also this is going to create a iter scan link using this token address. So let's back to the page, paste again the same address, click on submit. And as I show you at the beginning of the video, we have the exact same response. The token name, the symbol, the token address with direct link to iter scan and its price in USD. And of course, we can use any address over here. So now, just to make our Oracle more complete and have always the latest top ERC tokens based on the market cap over here, let's use another Moralis endpoint. So for that, we are going to use the get the top ERC20 tokens by market cap. This is a premium endpoint. So that's why I was also recommending you to upgrade to one of Morales Pro Plans because this API is just for Pro Plans and above. And the usage is really, really simple because as you can see here, we can just with what? Two lines of code get that working. So I'm going to add that to the Flask server. Let's go back to the server, get top tokens endpoint and just use that. We don't have to set up the API key again because we already have it. Let's just save this copy this one, go back to Postman, remove all of this, paste that here and click on send. And this is going to return a large list of the top tokens based on its market cap. So same as we did before with the search, we can use this each time we render the application. But as we don't need any input parameter, let's use a use effect into the front-end project to render this out each time we load the page. So I'm going to say this is going to be to get the top tokens. So let's say we are going to use a use effect, which is going to be triggered just once we load the application first time or once we load the page. Let's use axios.get. Let's connect to that endpoint. In this case, we can use slow quotes as we don't receive any parameter. Then let's click on then. Let's take the response into an anonymous function. And I already have another parameter here called token. So set token equals to the response dot data. And of course, just as a good practice, let's add a error handling over here. So now this is going to upload this token variable each time we load this page. And also here I have this rendered token variable, which is going to map through all the elements and create a card for each one of those. So if I click save on this, go back to the web page, as you can see here, I didn't even need to reload the page because all the information is already shown over here. And as easy as that, 
with just two simple endpoints, now you have an oracle to get the information of the price of any token, including the top tokens in the market. And that was it for today's video. Thanks for watching till the end. Please subscribe to our channel, hit the bell to receive notifications each time we upload a new video, and I'll see you on the next occasion. See ya!